driving just to feel young Moving away to the no, sea I'll make it so Moving away, can't you see? Sand in your feet, feel the breeze in the summertime Stars in the sky, wind down for the first time Moving away to the sea Moving away, can't you see? Drink any by the ocean, it's a big portion Come on baby, let me tell you one time That our days are never end, yeah No, our days are never end, yeah No, What is happening, guys? Welcome back to H2TV. I am H2, and I am going to be showing you guys why you should own property in Polito Bay more than ever now in 2019. And it all starts here in our new penthouses from the new Diamond Casino DLC update, because prior to this update for the past, oh, five years, Whenever we wanted to travel from the city up to Polito Bay, we would have to drive up the coast or fly with a helicopter or an airplane. But now, for the first time in GTA history, all we have to do is pick up the phone from our penthouse or the casino front desk, call our champagne-loving assistant. Tom Connors here. How can I help you, sir? I'll send that round right away. And use the limousine service to fast travel to Polito Bay. Yes, we can now fast travel with the push of a button. How convenient is that? And here we are, right in the small town of Polito, right in front of the ammunition. Which brings us to the next point, the next reason why you should own property here because whether you want to purchase a new weapon or refill your body armor, top off your ammo or play with the weapon skins, or whether you want to throw some new modifications on your off-road toys, or maybe you want to put together a new outfit for the wild outdoors. Whatever it is, it is all a stone throw away here in Polito Bay. You can even get a new tattoo while you're visiting or get a new hairstyle, but every merchant and every shop is within a two block radius, which is well about five times closer than anything in the city. What do you have in mind? Next up in our top 10 is garage space. There was a time a few years ago where all you could own in GTA Online was five properties. So downgrading from a 10 car garage to a 6 car garage, which is all you can get in Polito Bay with the houses, was much more of a sacrifice. But nowadays it is no big deal at all. It is irrelevant because between the properties we can own and the nightclub garages, the office garages, the arena workshop, the new penthouse garage, there is a total of 207 garage spots. So downgrading one of your properties to a six car garage in Polito Bay is no longer an issue. And speaking of garages, let me give you guys a tour of mine right here on the beautiful ocean front in Polito Bay. Pretty cool this Liberty City license plate on this spare bumper on the shelf. And for my garage, I have got some of my off-road trucks, the mighty Ford Raptor, or the Caracara, the Contender, the Camacho, and for just cruising around town, we have the more luxurious Range Rover, and some toys in the back with the ATV, the Beach Buggy, 
and two of the Scorcher mountain bikes, which these are rare spawns, the red and the lime green with the white shocks. If you guys want to know how to get those, let me know in the comments down below. I can make a video on it. And let's hop in the Range Rover and I will show you guys another reason to own some property in Polito Bay. Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Thank you, sir. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. So just like the merchants in the shops, the Pegasus and the air spawn locations are so close together. Uh, for the helicopters, the Polito Police Department is kind enough to let us have access to their helipad. So this is where the helicopters will spawn in, right in town. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Thank you, sir. Your beautiful watercraft is now ready for you at our nearest harbor. And for the watercraft and boats, we just come down that dirt road, make our way to this beach access on this little cove here. And we are in the mighty Range Rover. It looks so good tearing through some sand and some water. And we have called the Toro. So the boats spawn right here in this nice little cove. And we will get rid of the Range Rover with the MC ability. Speaking of uh, nice things, we've got the Lampadati Toro. Nice Italian crafted speedboat. And we will call in a air vehicle from the interaction menu. It will spawn anywhere on the beach. So it'll spawn to the right here. Uh, I do like getting them closer to the pier so we can fly out and over the Polito Forest. So we'll call in the uh, sea breeze. which is really an underrated airplane in my opinion. It is very small and it is very mighty. This thing uh, flies really fast, it's really agile. And when you combine that with one of the best views in uh, first person, when you switch to first person, which I will do shortly here, show you guys some of the sights, it makes for some really fun flights and you can land on water. What else can you ask for? Over the left wing, we have the occultist cap. As long as you guys stay inside and don't come out, we will not have any problems. Down to the right is the Pacific Coast Highway, flying over this little pier down below. And to the right, we have the famous island with that huge tree planted right on that island. Really cool. And hang on, guys. Could get a little bumpy. Easy now. Easy. Touchdown! Nice! How cool is that? Docking up right next to the yacht. And you know you gotta do some boating when you're in Polito Bay. I really don't think there's any locations anywhere else where you get better waves, better weather, better views. So we've got the Bravado Bison here, one of my personal vehicles. I threw some chrome S-Racer rims on, doesn't look too bad. And uh, I believe it's one of the only three or four vehicles that has a tow hitch. So I found this boat on the trailer off the street and we are going to bring it to the cove and load it into the ocean really adds to the experience and really cool the angles on these trailers when you're reversing to get it to go where you want it to go and another beautiful day we've got clear water slightly cloudy skies and easy now easy a little bit more almost there and got it we are waterborne nice all right let's back it up a little bit and we are good to go let's uh take off in this little tropic speedboat see what she's got
say goodbye to the mighty bison that got us here. Good job, bison. Good job. And we are off, guys. Let's go. Let's catch some waves. And this little tropic speedboat really catches some air. Look at this. It's about to take off. And these islands up north, really cool. Got the waves crashing into the rocks, some sea spray as the little tropic speedboat takes off on these waves. Always a great time relaxing in Polito Bay. And check out the color of this water, really nice light aqua. And this is the boat parking lot, this little tide pool. When you uh, get out of your boats here, they will not drift away, which is awesome. So we will dock up here, check out this little uh, beach party. Another little perk of being in Polito, really cool community, a lot going on, all these beach parties scattered all over the map. So we will say what's up to the guys, stay for a few, and crack a cold one. For you adrenaline junkies, Polito Bay has that covered for you guys as well. Just called the personal assistant to charter our own private helicopter ride to the base of Mount Chiliad to do some wingsuit jumps. So landing at the pier, set the location on the map right by the tower on the top, and away we go! Up, up, and away! You have to jump out, land on this platform. There is another parachute on the platform to the right, right before we drop down to what I call the plank. And this part is always a bit tricky. Easy now, easy. Little more, one more step. Perfect. And I will never get tired of this view. Take it all in for a second, and let's go! Holding the left joystick up to keep my altitude down as we scale left and right through these cliffs. There are trees and there are rocks. Always an adrenaline rush diving through this canyon. Finish off through the trees. And pull! Nice! Another perfect jump for the books. And best thing about these jumps is when you're done, you can call your assistant and charter your private helicopter to take you back up to the top so that you can jump again. And again. And again. And after the wingsuit jump, we will turn down the intensity knob a little bit and have a relaxing bike ride through the best bicycle trails in the game, which are in Polito Forest. And once you get to the trails, you are free, free riding. And I've got to say that freight train coming through Polito Forest is so cool. I think it's the best location to see that freight train flying by. And this is a prime location, the old mill, for some freestyle, busting some tricks, nail this 180. Boom! Nailed it. Bounce off these logs. Nice. Table top off the lumber. And build up some speed over this bridge. 
And back to the trails. Where the trails bring us, no one knows, but it always feels so great. Another end of a perfect day in Polito. As the sun is coming down, we'll turn around up here and do one more downhill sprint. Get some speed, pop it up. Boom, 360. Go for one in reverse. Nailed it. Let's pick up some real speed. Pop up off these rocks. Yes. Man, hitting the trails always feels so great. You guys knew this was coming. Boom! Right over traffic. Welcome to Polito Point, where you can do all the off-roading your heart desires. Dirt bikes, off-road trucks. We are going to do it all. We are going to do it all. And there's really no better locations to take out your off-road trucks. We've got the mighty... Ford Raptor doing some casual off-roading, going up and down these dirt embankments and really good obstacles you can have fun with too, like these stacks of logs by the old mill. So see if the mighty Ford Raptor can conquer the logs. Yes, yes it can. And back on the BF400 doing what it does best, catching some major air. And we'll put on a little show flying through the old mill. Always put on a, a good show for the workers. Show off a little bit. And we've got some air. Nice. And the most treacherous off-roading you can do is the Mount Chiliad Hill Climb where roads or trails do not exist. And up and over this massive slab of granite we have conquered. And you guys know I gotta do a backflip for you. So let's pull off a backflip. Boom! Yes! And we're up again! Excellent. And you do not want to fall backwards at this part. Trust me, guys. I have done it a few times. And it is not fun. So let's power through over this massive hunk of granite as the hikers look on in amazement. As we have made it to the summit and we have conquered the mountain just in time for sunset. Uh, let me know if I can get you something. Did you guys know there is a massive underwater wreck right in Polito Bay? So we'll take out the trusty dinghy and go out a hundred meters or so. So you know that peninsula behind us where the uh, Pegasus boats spawn? The uh, peninsula that comes out if you go out about a hundred meters further and then 200 meters or so north, you'll be pretty much right over the area of the wreck. Right about here. And let's see what is under there. Let's go. Check this out. This is massive. A massive 747 wreck. Check out the size of that wing. That is insane. Got the fuselage there. The uh, turbines. Underwater wrecks have always kind of creeped me out, but always very intriguing. Like what happened? How did this happen? How did this get here? And we've got the cockpit down a little bit below. Let's get a little bit closer and see if anything or anyone is inside. Got some broken glass, looks empty. Let's see if we can get inside that side door. And this is not for those who are claustrophobic, let me tell you. This is a really small space. But really cool that we can do this in GTA. 
We've got a fuse panel, a door for the cockpit, and let's get out of here while we still can. And if you guys go down here, uh, see that turbine down below, if you go even deeper than that, there is something very strange, very mysterious. Let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about, or go check it out and take a look. Beautiful day for some drifting. You guys know we had to throw some drifting in here. So we've got the Nebula Turbo, a classic car for a very classy location. Always uh, very charming in Polito Bay, very relaxed. Not nearly as much traffic, not nearly as much chaos as in the city. So really a great escape and you got these big driveways for these factories. Great place to whip out the rear back and forth from the main road. And we've got some great industrial areas like uh, this uh, Clucking Bell Farms Chicken Factory. Got the employees out. They always like when I come through. I always put on a, a little show for them. So we will swing the rear out around this island and see if we can catch up with this freight train. And go! Look at this, drifting side by side with the train. Just another average day in Polito Bay. And plenty of space in these parking lots as we swing the rear out. And we'll drift back out across the main street to another parking lot, a little alleyway where we can actually connect to uh, one of the side streets, one of the main streets. So really cool, you can create your own little routes through these alleyways and these parking lots and, and you'll be surprised what you can do in Polito Bay. Got some pedestrians out walking around. We will turn around in this parking lot and do a little drift through the street with these onlookers, these pedestrians watching as we drift through another parking lot. And again, not much traffic, very uh, calm, very relaxed. So we'll link a few drifts and swing the rear end out around this concrete island as we are exiting Willie's Supermarket, good old Willie's. And let's really swing the rear end out, take up as much of this street as we can. Nice. And there are many more reasons and perks to hang out around Polito Bay, but that is my top 10. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys enjoy doing when you're hanging out around Polito Bay. If you made it this far, make sure to smash that thumbs up, leave a like, subscribe if you're new for more top-notch GTA content. As for me, I have got this beach party to attend to. So I will see you guys in the next video, and hopefully, one of these days, I will see you guys in Polito Bay. Until then, stay cool, and I will catch you guys next time.